Greetings everyone. Uh, today in this very short tutorial we're going to go over the report options section in a schedule. One of the main things that you set up in the report options is your login for the report itself. If no authentication is required to your report at all, leave this box unchecked. In the case that you do, simply check this box and a couple of options will show up. By default, you can simply select report settings for your database type. This will mean that the we will use the crystal report settings for authenticating the database including username, password, and other information. If you need to customize that information, all you have to do is simply select the type of database that you're connecting to, that the report connects to, and select the name of the DSN that the report connects to as well. You can enter in your credentials for that database here, and if required, you can click the Advanced tab, and you can specify logins for specific tables. This is only necessary if your report requires these things. Next, you actually have the ability to resume failed or aired data with cache data. This means that by checking this box, instead of the schedule having to rerun itself over again, if there's been some sort of error or failure at any point, it can actually pick up where it left off and continue delivering the reports as usual. This way you can avoid any duplicates getting distributed. Using save data with report means that rather than connecting to the database itself, we're going to use data that was saved in the crystal report itself and use that data to actually generate the report. With this option, we can refresh the schedule before every time it executes. This is pretty helpful if you have a report that changes quite frequently and edits are made to it quite often. This always may, this ensures that you have the latest and up-to-date version of your crystal report automatically scheduled for running. And finally, this option here, Snave Snapshots, this gives you the ability to save a quick picture of the report as it's produced. It's then stored within CRD and you can decide up to how many days you want that pic that snapshot to be held. Perfect. Well, that's report options. Thank you very much for joining.